All right, y'all. We have come out here to this beautiful location with the adobe in the background and the Sangre de Cristo Mountains in the back background to learn how to pack a pipe. So I got this corn cob pipe. Uh, most of this tobacco in here from Missouri Meerschaum Company. Okay. First of all, let me say that I do not condone smoking. Don't start smoking. I used to be really bad at vaping. Most of you might not even know that, but um, I used to like constantly just and uh, this is nice. I mean, it's kind of like smoking a cigar where you're just bringing the, the smoke into your mouth and just letting releasing it. You know, you're not sucking it down into your lungs. It's still not good for you, not good for your teeth. The way I see it and try to justify it is that one bowl of plain pipe tobacco is better than ripping a vape. It helps me not rip the vape 24 seven, if that makes any sense. But don't do it if you haven't started. One thing I always like to do is check my filter on these big pipes. Um, they have a removable paper filter. I think I've used this one time, so it's good for another still. But you can buy these little uh, pipe filters. Just, I mean, the, I bought them through this company, so. I got this pipe tobacco out of a tobacco shop in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, it's kind of drying up, so I'm gonna use it here. I think this was like barrel aged rum or something like that. For my lighter, I just got this off eBay. I think it was $50. It's a specific pipe lighter. And it's even got the pipe tool in the bottom for tamping. So I like it. You can either get a lighter with a pipe tool or you can just get a specific pipe tool, oh, either one. This is how I was taught to pack a pipe and I've seen this method over and over. So you take some tobacco, okay? And you fill up your pipe all the way. All the way to the top. Kind of put it in there, but don't don't even press it in yet, okay? There's three different phases to this. So there's phase one, okay? It's, it's filled up. Now you're gonna take your poker and push it down in there, okay? And you wanna think of it with these three different phases, it's compared to handshakes, okay? The first handshake, when you're putting it in there, you're, you're given the same amount of pressure as if you were giving a, a child a handshake. So you just, you know, not very hard, just kind of pressing in a little bit, okay? You know, it's just a kid. It's just a kid. You don't want to crush their hand. Next up, okay, so there we are. It's not like crushed down or anything. Next up, you fill it back up to the top again. And this time it's going to be, you're giving a woman a handshake. So a woman's kind of tricky because it's a little more firm because you don't want to disrespect them and, you know, go limp, limp fish on them. Heaven forbid that. But you're also not trying to crush their hand either, you know? So it's a little harder. See that? So all around the edges, pack it in like that, okay? And then the final pack, as I'm sure you can guess, is giving a, a man a handshake, okay? So a man handshake, usually between two men, you're almost trying to prove who is the superior in this situation. Not that you're white knuckling each other's hands or anything, but you don't want to squeeze softer than the other man. You want to just meet his you want to meet his handshake and that's what you're doing here you're pressing nice and hard and firm so there we go our tobacco is all packed now what i like to do what I've, I've seen other people do is they take their thumb put it on there and then just give their pipe a good twist supposedly this you know twists the tobacco inside the pipe i'm not really sure what it does but i have found that it it helps me keep a better ember going so i'm not constantly having to relight give it a few puffs Make sure you got some airflow going there. And then you're good to go ahead and light. Now for lighting a pipe, I've heard that it's bad to use a torch. You wanna to use like an open flame light like that. Um, and there's two different kinds of lights. The first one is called the char burn, which is where you're just getting the top all charred. And then tamp that down, light it again. And uh, that's, that's where you kind of create your ember. So here we go. So can you see that? It all kind of raised up a little bit. So we're gonna poke it back down. Okay, so that was our char burn. And here I'll do it. I'll do it close so you can see this here. And you still do have to play with it. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. It's been a while. If 
but you do have to play with it. You got to tamp it. You got to relight it. And first of all, don't expect to pack a perfect bowl your first time doing it or even your first five, ten times doing it. So there you go. Now, if packed correctly, this pipe bowl, depending on how often I'm ripping on it, could last, you know, 30, 45 minutes um, if it's a well-packed pipe. So, and that's honestly another reason why I like smoking a pipe is because you can't just go out and do it like like smoking a cigarette or ripping a vape you just can't do it you have to have time to do it you have to have time to pack it. you have to have time to smoke it. you have to you know you don't want to just waste tobacco so you have to have a good 40 minutes to just relax and chill it's like uh just a just a vibe you know this is especially to all the younger people that watch my videos if you don't smoke don't start i mean obviously me saying that isn't gonna prevent you from doing it because it didn't prevent me when people told me. All that I will say in the spirit of giving you my best advice is that if I could go back, I would not. So there's that. Thanks for watching, guys.